Hello and welcome to your first 4-H meeting. My name is Elizabeth Conway. I am the athens Clark County 4-H agent. Now some of you might have heard of 4-H before if you had an older brother or sister that did 4-H, but I bet more of you have heard of a place called Rock Eagle. Now Rock Eagle is the largest 4-H center in the world. It will hold a thousand people at one, a time, at one time for an event. Now hopefully we'll be going there this summer for summer camp, but that is a long way away. Today we're actually gonna talk about some activities you can start on today. But before we do that, I wanted to show you a slideshow that's got lots of fun activities that you can see 4-H'ers just like you participating in. Hello, I am Arham Shah, recent 4-H State Board President, and I was elected by members to serve each and every one of you. So let me tell you a little bit about Georgia 4-H. Georgia 4-H is based through the University of Georgia and the College of Agriculture and Environmental Sciences, or as we like to call it, Ag Dog. Now my buddy, Dion Tavius, can tell you a little bit more about Georgia 4-H. Like you, we started in elementary school with a 4-H leader who partnered with our school to help us finish our school. This year in 4-H, you will learn more about science, developing your speaking skills, and even learn how to be a leader. Also, connecting with your county leader will help you with your school and introduce you to all the opportunities available in your county. That's right, in 4-H, we're organized by counties. So, you may compete as a class, but you're actually a part of a larger 4-H county program. My friend Madison will tell you more about that. Madison? Thanks, Don Tavius. Your county office is really your starting point for 4-H, and your 4-H leader will share with you activities offered to students your age. Two big things available for both middle school and elementary school students is 4-H project achievement and summer camp. I think my favorite thing about 4-H is the friendships, and I've made friends from all across the state. And I'm going to ask one of them to share with you a bit about 4-H project achievement. Kimberly? Thanks, Madison. And 4-H, there's so much to learn and explore. I want to tell you about the 4-H Project Achievement Program. You choose a topic of interest and explore it. You even get to write a speech to share your topic with others. We have over 60 categories to choose from. Archaeology, Ag Awareness, Wildlife, Dog Care, Music, History, you name it. I got hooked on 4-H when I was your age, going to summer camp. You spend a whole week learning about nature, canoeing, swimming, and making new friends at one of our five 4-H centers across the state. Speaking of state, 4-H teaches us to respect ourselves, our county, our state, and even our nation. We call this citizenship, and who better to tell you about citizenship than my buddy Ty? In 4-H, we have a pledge that goes like this. I pledge my head to clear thinking. My heart to greater loyalty. My hands to larger service. And my health to better living. For my club, my community, my country, and my world. We say this pledge at every 4-H event, but 4-H is not just about saying the pledge. It's about living the pledge. We live our pledge to larger service and actually serving our communities with food banks, road cleanup, and visiting our elderly neighbors. This is called citizenship, and in our opinion, it goes hand in hand with learning to be a good leader. Right, Douglas? That's right, Ty. 4-H has been focused on learning, leading, and serving for over 100 years. After all, our motto is to make the best better. Tell them more, Sarah. Sure, Douglas. 4-H is a great place to work with others and to improve your community. Meeting people from my community and growing my network of friends has been so fun. Hope, why don't you recap on why we all think 4-H is great? Happy to, Sarah. 4-H offers you a path to friendships, fun, and can prepare you for a bright future. 4-H is welcoming to everyone and is a place you can discover your talents and try new things. So what are you waiting for? Join us in Georgia 4-H. Welcome to 4-H. Welcome to Georgia 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 4-H. You need to know, as a 4-H member, at the very least, we want you to know what the 4-Hs represent. Now, if you were watching the slideshow, you saw those 
words fly through that start with the letter H. And so if someone asks you, well, what is 4-H? I want you to at least be able to tell them those 4-H's. And they are head, heart, hands, and health. So those are our 4-H's. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get up and we're gonna start moving. So I want everybody to get up out of their seat just like I'm doing, and we're gonna hear about the 4-H story. So I'm gonna read our 4-H story and we're gonna start moving around. So when you listen to the 4-H story, every time you hear the word corn, I want you to jump up and down like popcorn and yell pop, pop, popcorn. So this is how it goes, pop, pop, popcorn. And every time you hear the word tomato, I want you to twirl around and say, mmm, salsa. So this is how it goes, mmm, salsa. And every time you hear University of Georgia, give a good Georgia cheer, go dogs. So let's try that out, go dogs. So let's listen to our story and see if you can move around and get your energy going. So a long time ago in 1904, a man named Mr. G.C. Adams, a school superintendent in Newton County, came up with a new idea. In 1904, most people farmed for a living. So to help his students become better prepared for the future, Mr. Adams contacted professors at the University of Georgia, go dogs, College of Agriculture and Environmental Sciences. It seems the university was experimenting with all kinds of corn, pop, pop, popcorn crops, and needed someone to actually test these new techniques. To meet the needs of both the University of Georgia, go dogs, College of Agriculture and Environmental Sciences, and Mr. Adams' boys, the boys' corn, pop, pop, popcorn club was formed. In the early club, Boys planted, cared for their crop, and exhibited it in the fair. Soon the girls wanted to take part and have their own club, but the girls did not grow the same crop. They grew tomatoes, mmm, salsa, and canned them. The girls grew tomatoes, mmm, salsa, and canned them for competition. This was the beginning of the girls' tomato, mmm, salsa canning club. Ten years later, the Smith-Lever Act was passed in Congress, which established the Cooperative Extension Service, which is a service part of the University of Georgia. Go dogs! It wasn't until now that the boys' corn, pop, pop, popcorn club, and the girls' tomato, mmm, salsa club, came together to form the first 4-H club. Each month, someone representing the Extension Service in UGA will be producing programs for students. Just like Mr. Adams used information from the college to help his boys learn, we'll be doing that too. So today, you can tell your parents that you are a student at the University of Georgia. Go dogs! So we got around and moved a little bit. Also got to learn a little bit about 4-H and how it got started. So let's have a seat again. So let's think again about how 4-H started in 1904. Mr. G.C. Adams started the Boys Corn Club in Newton County. The Girls Tomato Canning Club was started in Hancock County. And 10 years later in 1914, the Smith Lever Act established the Cooperative Extension Service in 4-H, which is a service part of UGA. Now, one thing I also want you to know as a 4-H member is our 4-H club motto. Now, a motto is a phrase expressing the purpose or the belief of an organization. So, wow, that's a big deal. This is something that we believe in in 4-H. And our motto is to make the best better. So, what we mean by our 4-H motto is that as you learn you and grow, you always need to try to do your best. And you'll become better as you get older. Now we also have a 4-H club slogan, and this is a phrase that describes what the organization does. And in 4-H, we do a lot of learning by doing. So we are gonna be telling you about a lot of activities that you can participate in, and the more you do them, the more you'll learn. Now you probably have seen this 4-H symbol all over our slideshow. It's a four-leaf clover. 
with an H on each petal. And we also have 4-H colors. You've probably already guessed green and white as our other color as well. Now, once you get done watching this presentation, if you tell your parent that you would like to join 4-H, they might ask you a couple of questions. They might ask you, well, where do you have to go for 4-H? Well, your teacher will send you 4-H uh, lessons for you to do where you can do activities just like we're doing right now. And once you get back into school, we'll meet during the school day at, at your school and your, in your fifth grade classrooms. And so you don't really have to go to the 4-H office or to Rock Eagle or anywhere special. It's going to be something that you can easily participate in. Now they might always as well ask you how much does 4-H cost? It doesn't cost anything to be a member of 4-H. It is free and all of our competitions and contests are free as well. So how to sign up for 4-H? What your parent will need to do is email the student's information to me, Ms. Conway, at ebarber at uga.edu. And the information we'll need is your first name, last name, school, grade, teacher, gender, racial classification, age, and your parent's email address if they'd like. Now, who can be in 4-H? Well, 4-H is actually for all youth who like action, learning, and fun, but it really starts in fifth grade here in athens Clark County. And you can be in 4-H all the way through middle and high school. So uh, we like to have activities. As you get older, you'll get to have more opportunities with 4-H. It's even a part of college. The University of Georgia has 4-H as well as other universities. And adults are a part of 4-H as volunteers and leaders. Your teachers there at school help out a lot with 4-H. So that's a lot of information that's good to know if you're joining 4-H. But now you probably are wondering, okay, well, what can I actually do in 4-H? Well, you'll have your 4-H school programs like this. And then once you get back into the school and are going to school in person, we'll have 4-H programs during the school day, like I mentioned before, in your fifth grade classrooms. And then we have lots of competitions and contests that you can choose from. I'm going to tell you today about one competition that you can do online, and then I'm also going to tell you about a drawing contest. And then our biggest competition is Project Achievement. This is a public speaking contest where you can choose from over 60 projects and write a demonstration and present it as a speech and compete against other fifth graders who've chosen the same project you've chosen. We'll talk a lot about this in future 4-H programs. In 4-H, we like to help others as well. So we'll be telling you about a lot of community activities where you can help others in your community. And then we also have summer activities. I've talked a lot about summer camp at Rock Eagle. That's something that we'll have to look forward to at the end of this school year. So first activity you can do is our 4-H holiday card draw drawing contest. Now with this contest, we would like for you to design the cover of our athens Clark County holiday card that we send out in December to 4-H supporters. It would go out to the athens Clark County mayor, the commissioners, it goes to the state 4-H office, lots of 4-H supporters here in Athens get it. So there's certain rules that you'll have to follow. First, you need to make your drawing on white, unlined eight and a half by five and a half inch paper, Basically, this is half of a regular sheet of computer paper. The size is very important, so make sure that you take a white piece of paper, fold it in half, and only draw it on that side of the paper. And then on the back, we need your name, address, grade, and school. And in the drawing, make sure you include the 4-H symbol, the four-leaf four clover, in your design. Remember, this is a 4-H holiday card contest. And then you can mail or drop off your drawing at the 4-H office located there on Cleveland Road in Bogart. But you can also take a picture of it, scan it, or you can design it on the computer and email it to me at ebarber at uga.edu. Now you have to submit it or send it to us by Friday, October 23rd. Now the drawings should be the original artwork, in other words, drawn by a fifth grade athens Clark County student. And there's only one drawing or submission per student. 
Now the winning drawing, like I said, will be on the cover of the athens Clark County 4-H holiday card sent to local 4-H supporters. And the winner will also receive a $50 gift card. So that's why it's important that you put your correct mailing address on the back of your drawing. Because if you're a winner, we don't have your address, you won't be able to get the $50 gift card. Now this is an example of a previous year's winner. You notice it says, let it snow, greetings from 4-H, and it's got green 4-H clovers falling like snowflakes. Now you notice it doesn't say Merry Christmas or Happy New Year or anything like that. This is something that anybody can receive in December, no matter what holiday they celebrate. Here's another example of a winner. It says Seasons Greetings. It's got a nice 4-H clover right there in the middle. And so you've got the 4-H clover on there and it's something anybody can receive as well. Happy Holidays is another good example of what you could put on your card. This is last year's holiday card winner. She was a fifth grade student from Gaines Elementary School. So she's posing there with uh, last year's prize, which, is, which was a 4-H backpack. This is another activity you can choose. It's an online 4-H activity. It's a shopping competition. Consumer judging practices will be held online where students can study at their own pace starting in October, and then there'll be a virtual competition held online in November. So you might be wondering, well, how does this work? How, does this, how do you shop as a competition? Well, every year we get four different items or products to choose from. This year it's pajama pants, vending machine snacks, smartwatches, and fitness center memberships. And when you do these online practices, you'll learn what to look for when shopping for those four different items and also how the competition works. And then when we go to the virtual competition, we will have our athens Clark County team and there'll be other counties teams there as well that we'll compete against. So try to choose items that you've either already bought before in your life or will probably buy in the future. So if this is something you'd like to do, you need to register for the event by emailing me at evebarber at uga.edu before October so you can get the information for this online activity. This was last year's 2019 Consumer Judging Team. Our junior team, which is your age group, they got first place at the competition. And our senior team, our high schoolers, they got third place. This year we won't actually be going, this was held in Watkinsville, we won't actually be going in person to the event, but they have found a way for us to do it virtually. So the last thing you need to know as a 4-H'er is our 4-H pledge. Now I'm going to show you how we say the pledge, there's hand motions that go with it, and so let's all say our 4-H pledge together. I pledge my head to clearer thinking, my heart to greater loyalty, my hands to larger service, and my health to better living for my club, my community, my country, and my world. So at the end of every meeting when we meet in person or at every 4-H event, we always say this pledge. So it's good to know what hand motions go along with it. So just as a reminder, these are our upcoming 4-H activities. Remember to tell your parent to sign you up for 4-H by emailing me, Ms. Conway, at ebarber at uga.edu, all your information. Remember, it's your first and last name, school, grade, teacher, gender, racial classification, age, or your parents' email if they'd like. And then we have that holiday card contest that's due by October 23rd. And that winning entry is going to get that $50 gift card. So be sure to put it on half of a sheet of plain white paper and make sure it has the 4-H clover on it and that it has, it says happy holidays or season's greetings on there and that it's a card that we can send out during the December holiday. And then finally, we have our shopping competition called Consumer Judging. Those online classes begin in October. So remember you need to register or email me at ebarber.uga.edu before October if you'd like to participate in that. So that's it. That's been your first 4-H club meeting. So 
I am so excited that you have done this today and I'm really looking forward to seeing everybody and hopefully we'll get back into school and I'll have a chance to meet you in person.